Hi everybody, welcome back to Cat's Book Nook. Today is Sunday, January 14th, and this is going to be my weekly wrap-up for this week. Um, this week I happen to be doing Hooked on Books weekly readathon, which ran from January 6th to yesterday, January 13th. Um, so eight days. I actually finished quite a few books with that. Um, I also picked up a new stack. So... Hello, new stack, stack of awesomeness, and I'm currently reading two books. So, with that, what I read this week was, pick up the phone, I started off this week finishing They Both Die in the End by Adam Silver. This was super, super cute, not that hard to get into, it's a story about two young men who both find out that they're going to die that day, and it's their journey of how they cope with how they're going to die together via the last friend app that neither one of them really wanted to try. So you've got a ex Mato, at least I, I'm not sure how, how you actually say his name, but one of the main characters has social anxiety. He doesn't want to leave the house, doesn't really want to do anything. He's got He's very big into social media. And then you've got Roof, who is very... He just lost his parents about four months ago. So he's still trying to deal with that. And finding out that he is going to die today is... He's still trying to come to terms with it. But it was super, super cute. Didn't really expect it to not be super cute. Because Adam can't seem to not write super cute stories. Um, so there's that. I also finished, audiobook-wise, I finished Lonesome Dove. Finally got through this book this week. Um, very good saga of what all happened in the West over different things. And I didn't know this until I read this, but this is Gus and this is Lori. And there are two characters in the story that go through all of this stuff only to have things ripped from underneath of them. It was, it was a super good read. I'm glad I actually read it or got to listen to it rather than read it. Because as you can see, this is a pretty thick book. So that was one book I finished this week. also finished Witchling, which is by Yasmin Gailnorn. It's the first book in the Otherworld series. I want to say there's 18 or 20 of these books now. So I, I did this via audiobook. I have read it physical physically before. It's just... I seem to be doing a lot of urban paranormal books lately, and I don't entirely know where that's going to end up. So, But I finished that one. I also finished No Mercy by Sherilyn Kenyon. This is an audiobook. Um, Dev Peltier and Sam, who is a former Amazon, and I will not, not my favorite Dark Hunter book of all. I think Sticks, that one right there, is probably my favorite book in that series, outside of Night Play. And Night Play is really good because the Scenes in it are really good, and yeah. But both of these were on my owned to-be-read list, so I now get to take two of these off. So I'm slowly working through that list. Um, other books I got through this week. I borrowed, this is one of the single editions that I have of this one. I borrowed volume one, which collects the first five books of Lady Machina. And... It was cute. Um, the artwork's good. I really wished there would have been more story to it as far as it only it ended at five after the fifth single. Um, I think it had something to do with the lack of consistency. Lack of consistency. Let's go with that. But I mean, Aspen has pretty good comics. I just I don't know what happened with their stuff. So um, also got through, now time to go back to the phone, Monstrous, uh, volume two, 
good artwork, not so great storyline. Volume 3 should be coming out in July. Um, what else did I get through this week? I gotta go back. Oh, Ink and Bone by Rachel Kane. This book was phenomenal. Um, currently on this one, which is the second book in the Great Library series, Ink and Bone reminded me a little bit of Hunger Games, a lot of Divergent, and a little bit of The Librarians. So, if you take all three of those and wrap them up into one series, it's this one. It's awesome. So, if you're looking for a good young adult series to start, start there. It's supposed to be five books, and I want to say book four is supposed to be coming out this year. I also finished Wires and Nerves by Marissa Meyer. This is volume one. Volume two is due out sometime this year. It is it is a continuation of the Lunar Chronicles series between uh, some of the stories in Stars Above and Winter. And it's actually a really good graphic novel. The artwork is pretty good. The storyline is great. Um, if you love Lunar's Chronicles and you haven't picked this up yet, please do, because this is awesome. And I think that's all the books that I got through this week. Sorry. Checklist of stuff. <laughs> um, yeah, that, that's it as far as what I've read this week. What I am currently reading, Sabriel is my audiobook that I'm working on right now. This A friend of mine has Audible because he's a truck driver. And he listens to books constantly. So this happened to be one book that he had. And it's on my Goodreads. Uh, 40 books off my Goodreads shelf that I want to get through this year. So this just happened to be on it. He had it. I'm listening to it. It's good. It's good so far. And then like I said, I'm currently reading Paper and Fire by Rachel Kane. This is the second book in the Great Library series. Um, the It picks up. I want to say like six months, maybe nine months, right after um, Ink and Bone has concluded. And there is the opening page, which is a letter from the Great Archives, or Black Archives, however that one works. And a character that Jess is the main male character in the story. And it follows him. It's told in third person, but one of the characters from book one that you are told dies doesn't. So that's why it's kind of like the Hunger Games, Divergent, the Librarians. There's a lot of misinformation and a lot of things can get skewed. And I'm very interested to see how she continues this series. So I'm hoping to finish this in the next few days because I'm off tomorrow uh, for the most part. I'm off today too because... Amazon is just not working right now. So, yeah, there's that. So, um, which is why I'm recording this today instead of sitting in my car and actually delivering packages. That is my rant for the day, guys. I apologize for the whole rambly thing, but that's my rant for the day. I would love to be out working right now, listening to books. So, um, new books that I picked up. I picked up two new books, actually picked up books this week. Um, I don't know if you guys have them in your community, but my community where I drive has free libraries where it's this little like birdhouse-esque box where people put books that they don't want anymore instead of donating them to the library. They just, it's almost like book, um, book share. It's a book sharing thing and it puts other people's books into the community and things like that. It's actually super cool. And Portland has a lot of them. I, they're starting to pop up more in the D.C., Maryland, Virginia areas. And I happen to be driving in Rockville or Gaithersburg. I think it was in Gaithersburg last week. And I picked up One Plus One by Jojo Moyes. This is on my Goodreads list that I need to get through this year. And then Hidden Figures by Margot Lee Shetterly. I like this book. I haven't read this book, but and I haven't seen the movie yet, but I do want to say that one of the problem solvers in this book came out of West Virginia, so that is kind of like, yay, points. October Sky, the guy that did October Sky is actually from West Virginia, so it, it's interesting to see how he came from one community, and I want to say they're 
one of the characters is from Bluefield, either Bluefield or Beckley. I think that's the way that one goes. But yeah, so very interested to read this one at some point. But those are my two actual books that aren't library books that I picked up this week. Um, new physical library books. We've got 13 Little Blue Envelopes, also on my Goodreads list, top 40. The Taken by Vicki Peterson. I read this book last year. I love the series. The series is awesome, and I've been thinking a lot about this series, so I picked the first book up just to kind of shake things up a little bit. Um, the Last Little Blue Envelope by Maureen Johnson is the sequel to 13 Little Blue Envelopes. I don't know what the storyline's about, but it's different. Solace by Gail Carriger. Um, it's the manga of the Parasol series that she does. I want to say that one of those books is on my Goodreads Top 40 list, and it comes in graphic novel form. It's super cute and super, should be a super fast read. Um, speaking of graphic novels, we've got Lumberjanes Volume 5 came in this week, Volume 6, and Volume 7. So... I am apparently graphic noveling it up, so we got that. Um, Attachments by Rain Rainbow Rao came in. This is also on my Goodreads Top 40 list to get through this week. And hold on one second. Forgot a book. Uprooted by Naomi Novak. Uh, because I did The Bear and the Nightingale and The Girl in the Tower, I wanted to pick this book back up because I really loved it, and it's on my Alphabet Soup ABC Challenge for 2018. So. That's that. Um, audiobooks that I picked up this week, because I did pick up a couple audiobooks. Um, the Lost Sisterhood by Anne Fortier. I think that's how you say it. Um, top 40 book. <laughs> if I Was Your Girl, because I had to return the physical volume, because I wasn't going to be able to read it in enough time last week. So I picked up the audiobook version of it. It's actually only seven hours long. So short audiobooks right now are awesome. Mostly because this one, I think, is like 24 hours. So there's that. And I think that's all the new audiobooks that I picked up. Um, returned books. So that's all the new stuff this week. Returned books. Beartown by Frederick Bachman. Uh, this book had holds on it. So did Scythe by Neil Schusterman. And then I wasn't going to read Box Office Poison. I tried it. It wasn't... I wasn't feeling it, so I returned it. And with that... That's my weekly wrap-up for this week, guys. That's a lot of books. And now I get to go do the list in the description box below so you guys can see what all I picked up this week. And if you guys want to check out any of these titles, feel free to do so. Let me know if you've read any of these, if you liked them, if you don't, if you've got recommendations that you want me to read. Would love to. So with that, I hope you guys are having a great, have had a great first half of the month, and hope you guys have a great week, and I will talk to you guys later on. Bye, guys.